Hello there guys and welcome to our 40th C++ tutorial. Today's tutorial we're gonna go ahead and talk about... Uh, it's an exercise tutorial. If you remember in our, our previous tutorial, the 39th tutorial was also an exercise tutorial. In that tutorial we go ahead and talked about finding a minimum number between two numbers, comparing two numbers and finding uh, a min. Uh, but the whole thing was not, not using branching or if statements and so on. So basically doing and basically using the logical way, uh, well basically using OR gates and AND gates and so on. So today we will actually write the, the max, uh, so how to find the max number. So to if you didn't watch the previous video guys, go ahead and watch those and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, rate the videos and leave comments. It truly gives me a lot of feedback and, and it's truly very appreciated. Again, if you don't understand, I will basically explain everything in detail. So if you don't understand the beginning, when we write in the code, you which uh, you might not, it's totally normal, you will understand by the end of the tutorial. So let's begin by including the IO stream and then let's type using namespace standard and let's go inside of our main. Again let's begin let me type return zero first. Let's begin by having a a max here and we have an an X and we set x to let's say 5 or 4 and let's set y into let's say 5 Be let's begin with two initialized variables and then um, let me go ahead and put an equal sign here let go let's begin with two uh, initialized variables and then once we've done writing it we can also like ask the user to input um, the two variables just so we can be that could probably be a little bit more advanced so you guys can see that it do actually it does work let me just put a C out statement here and say the max equals and then let's print out max here. And let me put an end line also. Alright. How do we find the max? Let's just set the max equal to x. XOR, that's our XOR gate there. And here we have x or y or x or y. That's the XOR again, so we are so we are XORing X and Y, and then we're using an AND gate to put them together with X less than Y. Alright, so this is how we find our max. And our previous tutorial we showed how to find the min. Alright, so let's put in comments here. Alright, let's go inside here and start typing. Alright, so let's begin again by having the piece by piece here so let's compare the x y here alright so we know here we have x is 4 y is 5 we know that x is basically um, x is greater than um, well y is greater than x so 5 is greater than 4 so this statement is true so what we get here is basically a minus 1 and this is in two's complement so in two's complement if we um, we have the sign bit, so we uh, negative one can be rep basically in one can be represented or negative one can be represented in four bits. So our f the first bit is the sign bit. So let me have five bits here. This is the sign bit. So that if it's one, that, that tells us the number is negative. And also um, in two's complement, one is if you know already. If you don't know, you can look it up if you wish. But uh, the n the number one in two's complement is basically all one. So we have one 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 one. That's negative one. Uh, if you remember, uh, 1 is basically 0, 0, 0, 1. That we get 1, but 2's complement is basically you flip all the bits and then you add 1, and then you get 2's complement of number 1, which is in, in our case here is all 1's. Alright, so now we went, let's go over our second part here, which we are x or in x and y here. Now let's set this equal. So what are we doing here? What is x? Okay, so we have x here. Let's represent x by 5 bits, uh, just to keep it consistent with the top one here, which we have assigned it. So x is 4. How do we represent 4? First one is a sign bit, so 4 is a positive number, so it's 0. And then we're representing, so 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. So basically this is 1 here, which is 2 to the second, which is 4. So that's x. And then let's put down here, let's put y y is 5, so again the sign bit is 0 because it's a positive number and 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1 which is 2 to the second and 2 to the 0 which is 4 plus uh, basically 4 plus 1 which is 5 and then let's down here so we are XORing, as you remember XORing is basically if we have 
if we have the same uh, bit here or if you have the same is if we have two zeros we get a zero if we have two ones we get a zero if, you have, if we have different numbers then we get um, a one so we get true or false so if we have two zeros we get a false we, or if we have two of the same bit then we get a false if we have different ones if we have different bits then we get a true so it's this becomes false or zero 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 and one okay for our next part here we will, we will combine those so we have x or y and then we have an n together so we have n and then x is less than y All right. from up here we have um, well start down here from down here we have um, x or uh, x or y so that's zero for our signing bit for a sign bit and then we have zero 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 and then for minus x less than y there the second part we found up there to be all one so these are sign bit and then followed by four ones and then down here we are we are ending them together if you remember and if they mu they must both be ones in order for us to get a one if, if, if one is one or zero or both are zero then we get zero so this is zero 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 and then we get one and finally here for our last part here we are XOR and Y or sorry X not Y we are XOR and Y with statement here alright and what do, we, what do we have here so X as we know from out here X is 4 our sign bit is 0 because it's positive and 4 is 0 1 0 0 and then we are XORing them with this statement here and we have our outcome which is down here which is 0, 0, 0, 0 and a 1 so final outcome here we are XORing them together remember they are the same bit uh, we get um, a 0 they are different we get a 1 so we got 0, 0, 1, 0 and we have a 1 here alright so this is equivalent to 5 which is 2 to the second right here and then 2 to the 0 which is 1 so it's 5 so indeed um, our biggest number here is y which is 5 so let's go here and have max so max would be 5 so that is how we arrive at the conclusion that the max is 5 out of those two numbers so if we, let's go ahead and build this and check that that is correct or not alright let's go ahead and start with our debugging here and indeed we get the max is 5 now let's make it a little bit more complicated here so let's make let's allow the user to give us the numbers and let's see out here and ask the user to enter two integers integers and let's allow him to enter two integers here and let's get the inputs and store one in x and let's store the second input in y alright and then we'll be doing the same thing so based on his inputs we'll perform in the same here but with different numbers so basically our our binary numbers here will be different but it, it will be performing the same exact action so let me let's rebuild the solution and check it to see if we actually do get the max number all the time alright so let's input two numbers here let's put 9 and then 45 or 65 sorry so we get 65 is the max number as we expected let's have another one here let's have 99 and let's have uh, I don't know 32 so we do get 99 alright guys so this was the second part of our exercise and to in this part we talked about um, how to basically find the max number or the biggest number by comparing two numbers using um, we're using the digital logic basically uh, XOR and or basically OR gates and you know XOR gates and N gates and so on so thank you for watching this tutorial guys, I hope you liked it, if you have any concerns or any ideas within the tutorials, please leave, send, uh, leave a message or comment, rate the videos guys, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this tutorial guys, and stick around for more.